For this video, we're gonna be discussing the graphing of sine and cosine functions. In our previous video, we already discussed the introduction of the graphs of the circular functions. And if you want an in-depth discussion regarding that topic, I will be putting the link down in the description box. So let's begin with the graph of sine function that we discussed. So here is the graph of our sine function. We also know that this is a periodic function with a period of 2 pi because the values of our function repeat after the interval of 2 pi. Also, it has an amplitude of 1. We all know that an amplitude is the farthest distance from our x-axis. So if this is our x-axis, the farthest distance or the peak of our graph is equal to 1. For the domain of our function, it is the set of all real numbers because it is extended to the left and to the right continuously. For the range, it has the range from negative 1 or the value of y starts from negative 1 up to positive 1 because our graph, as you can see, it does not exceed our restrictions or our range. Let's have this. y equals 2 sine x. The graph of this function is this. As you can see, the period is still 2 pi because from 0 up to 2 pi, that is our graph of sine function. And after 2 pi, the values repeat in that interval for the next 2 pi. Now, it has an amplitude of 2 because x-axis or from x-axis, the farthest distance is 2. So, here is our 2. Next, for the domain, it is still the set of all real numbers. For the range, it is from negative 2 up to positive 2. So the value of y or the minimum value of y is negative 2 and the maximum value of y is positive 2. Let's have this function. y equals sine 2x. y equals 2 sine x is different from y equals 2 sine x. As you can see here, the coefficient of x is 1. Here, the coefficient of x is 2. So, if we have a coefficient aside from 1, we're going to find the period first. So, the period is equal to 2 pi over b. And b is equivalent to the coefficient that we find here. So, period is equal to pi. Because 2 pi over 2 that is equivalent to pi. And the amplitude is 1. Here is the graph of our y equals sine 2x. As you can see, here is the pi. So this is the graph of our y equals sine 2x. And the values repeat in every pi. For the domain, it is the set of all real numbers. And for the range, the minimum value of y is negative 1 and the maximum value of y is 1. So what is the difference between the two? So if we have the coefficient here after sine, this is our amplitude. Okay, the coefficient here is 2, so our amplitude is 2. Here is 1, so our amplitude here is 1. So this is vertically stretched. And this is horizontally fitting. So our graph of our sine function here is fitted within the interval of every pi. Now let's have this general equation for sine and cosine function. So lalagay na lang natin muna yung sine. But this is also applicable to our cosine function. y is equal to a sine of the quantity bx plus c plus d. a is the amplitude. Or the absolute value of our A is the amplitude. B, this helps us to find the period. Kagaya ng ginawa natin sa previous slide, ginamit natin yung coefficient ng X to identify the period. C tells us the presence of the any horizontal and vertical phase shift. So mamaya sa mga susunod natin mga examples, we will be discussing this horizontal and vertical phase shift. And D is the vertical shift. Let's begin with our first example. Y is equal to sine 1 half x. So here we can say that our amplitude is 1 because 
our coefficient here is 1. For the period, it is equivalent to 2 pi over 1 half. So we already discussed that the formula in getting the period is 2 pi over b. So b is the coefficient of our x. So 2 over 1 half, that is equivalent to 4 pi. And here is the graph of our function. So this is y equals sine 1 half x. So the period is 4 pi. So the values of our function repeat in every interval of 4 pi. For the domain, it is the set of all real numbers. And for the range, the maximum value of y is negative 1 and the maximum value is positive 1. Next example, number 2. y is equal to 3 cosine 1 third x. So here, we can say that the amplitude is 3. That is the coefficient of our cosine. The period is equal to 2 pi over 1 third. Therefore, our period is 6 pi. And here is our graph of the function. So as you can see, here is the graph. And this repeats in the interval of 6 pi. For the domain, it is the set of all real numbers. And for the range, the minimum value of our y is negative 3. And the maximum value is positive 3. So here is the value of our range. For our third example, let's have this function. y equals sine x plus 2. So here we have the vertical shift, which is equivalent to 2. So later in our graph, we will see where is our vertical shift. The amplitude is 1. And the period is equivalent to 2 pi. This is the graph of our function. As you can see, here is our vertical shift. This is now the center of our graph, not the x-axis. And we have the period of 2 pi, meaning to say the values of our function repeat in this interval or every 2 pi. For the domain, it is the set of all real numbers. And for the range, the minimum value of y is 1. And the maximum value of y is 3. For the fourth example, y is equal to negative 3 sine x plus 4. So let's have the vertical shift. Vertical shift is equal to 4. Our amplitude is the absolute value of a, which is the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Then our period here is 2 pi. And this is the graph of our function. And here is the vertical shift. As you can see, our graph starts moving downward because we have negative function. So it starts moving downward, then up to the 2 pi. After 2 pi, the values repeat. For the domain, it is the set of all real numbers. And for the range, it is from 1 to 7. The minimum value of y is 1 and the maximum value is 7. For our fifth example, so here we have the phase shift. Let's have first the vertical shift. The vertical shift is equivalent to 3. Our amplitude is 2. The period is 2 pi. Now, let's have the starting point of the phase shift. So to find the starting point of the phase shift, we need to equate this part. We are equating this part to 0. So we have x minus pi over 2 equals 0. Then find the value of x. So here, x is equivalent to pi over 2. Then after getting the starting point of the phase shift, we're adding this to our period. So pi over 2 plus 2 pi, that is equivalent to 5 pi over 2. Let's have the graph of our function. So here's the graph, and the vertical shift is here, the 3, and this is the center of our graph. So in one complete cycle, we're going to start with pi over 2 because that is the phase shift. So here's the shaded area. Here's the one complete cycle of our of the values of our function. So pi over 2 and 
5pi over 2. Okay, then after 5pi over 2, the values of our function repeat in this period. For the domain, it is the set of all real numbers. And for the range, the minimum value of y is 1 and the maximum value of y is 5. Lastly, we have y equals 3 cosine of quantity 1 half x plus pi minus 5. Here, the vertical shift is negative 5. The amplitude is 3. The period is 4 pi. So why is it 4 pi? The formula in getting the period is 2 pi over b, wherein b is equal to 1 half. So if we're going to divide 2 pi to 1 half, we will have 4 pi. For the starting point of the phase shift, we need to equate this part to 0. So we have 1 half x plus pi equals 0. Then find the value of x. So the value of x here is negative 2 pi. Then after getting the starting point of the phase shift, we need to add our period to this. So we have negative 2 pi plus 4 pi. And this is 2 pi. So here is the graph of our function. Okay, so the complete cycle starts with negative 2 pi and it ends at 2 pi. And the values repeat in this interval. The domain is the set of all real numbers and for the range, we have this interval from negative 8 to negative 2 because the minimum value of our y is negative 8 and the maximum value of our y is negative 2. So here you can find the vertical shift here in negative 5 and this is the center of our graph. And this is the end of this video. So if you find this video informative, please don't forget to like share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.